Assuming the gaming gun has been set to a device role of gamer and is not locked, then when the gaming gun is turned on, the boot screen will appear after a few seconds. To unlock any device hold down the red and black buttons while turning the unit on, then push the red button when the screen says, sat R in it. A trigger pull on the boot screen will take you to a live game. For all devices to work in a game, you have to pull the trigger or push the green button. To enter the common menu, in which you will find commonly used options, push the red button on the boot screen. If you push the black button on the boot screen it will take you to the uncommon menu, this is especially useful to change the device role and theme. While in the boot screen, the top left hand corner of the LCD will list the alias name of this device. If no alias has been selected, then it will say, no alias. An alias is normally set by the Windows SAT R Hub application, this requires the purchase of a custom dongle from Battlefield Sports. The top right corner shows the difficulty level. On the second line, to the left, is the theme, while the battle number followed by the team letter is on the right. Importantly for devices to work together they have to be on the same battle. Gamers set to the same team, can't shoot each other unless friendly fire is turned on. The third line starts with the language and on the right is the voltage of the device. If the unit is below 6 volts, it should be recharged before use. The bottom line will scroll through the weapon emulations currently in force. It will also scroll through to the current code version. After a trigger pull on the boot screen, the gaming gun is now ready to play. Typically, the team needs to be set before a game starts, the easiest way to do this, is with the master controller. In common settings, use the set team command. Your options will include red, blue, purple or any team, among others. Any refers to no team. In a public session you are unlikely to want teammates hitting each other by accident, and therefore you should set them to teams, for example red team, blue team, and purple team. To see what a gaming gun is currently set to, check the device's LCD. The team is shown on the right hand side of line 3. An uppercase letter, such as capital R, means the device is set to red team with friendly fire off. If the R is lowercase, friendly fire is on, then all gaming guns can hit this one, even other members of red team. Top left has the current health after the letter H. After the letter S is the current shield value. Both health and shield's maximum value is 100. The top right has the ammunition in the current magazine followed by the magazine maximum capacity. The second line has the details of the emulation in the current slot, in this case, the common semi-automatic pistol. Notice the C in brackets means common rarity. The system will then scroll automatically to show how many reloads are left, and the type of damage this weapon does, and the amount of damage. In this example, this will be 3 reloads and 12 points of piercing damage. The third line has H for hits, K for kills and S for spawns. Once supplies are collected, the third line will automatically scroll through all current weapons and aids available. The last line starts with the current status, this will normally be ready, but could be reloading, healing, paused, or empty. Empty means the ammunition needs to be reloaded. Healing means a medical kit or bandages are being applied and the gamer cannot shoot until this is complete. The fire mode is the action of the current emulation. The most common is FA meaning fully automatic. SA stands for semi-automatic. PA is pump action. SS is single shot. During a timed game, the bottom right hand side of the screen will show the time left in the mission. When a mission ends, the gamer can see their statistics by pulling the trigger to scroll through the normal screen, battle stats, and session stats. Battle stats are the statistics for the last mission. Session stats is all the missions combined since the last time the gaming gun was turned on, a clear stats command was issued or a briefing command was issued. The alias of this gaming gun will also be shown on the top line. A is for accuracy as a percentage. A slash W is the kill assist to wounded ratio. A kill assist is every hit this gamer made on another gamer including kills. A wound is every hit on this gamer including deaths. O is the number of times an objective was achieved such as taking control of a domination box or returning a flag or depositing money in a vault. K slash D is the classic kill to death ratio. K is the number of kills made on opposition gamers and D is the number of times this gamer has been killed. One of the great features of the SAT R3 system, is any device can act as another device by simply changing the device role in the uncommon menu. 
One of the most common changes is setting a gaming gun as a master controller or medic box. All devices can be changed individually through the menus accessed via the boot screen. Please note that devices in locked state will bypass the boot screen and you will first need to unlock your device. Similar to exit recommend options menu requires the device to be unlocked. If the device has an infrared sensor, it can be unlocked by a master controller. The unlock command is found on the rare settings menu under all devices. Alternatively, any device can be unlocked by holding down the red and black buttons on boot for a few seconds and then when the display says sat or initialize, push the red button. After waiting for the copyright notice to complete, push the black mode button, to enter the uncommon menu. If the theme is not battle royale, change this now. On all menus the mode and reload buttons scroll up and down the list, and the trigger or green button locks in the change. It is important to note that some device roles are only available in certain themes. A reset is used to set a device back to factory default values consistent with the current theme. For this course, set the theme to Royale Live and select the reset, auto pistol, any. If you don't wish to return your device to factory defaults, select no for the reset. Next, scroll through the device role options and select a controller. Edit details should be no. Simply pull the trigger. Once back on the boot screen pull the trigger again. The directing staff use a master controller to manage the gaming guns by radio commands and infrared commands. Radio commands affect all devices on the same battle as the controller. Infrared commands only affect the devices that the infrared beam hits. Generally, radio commands are used to start and end missions. The most common use of infrared commands is to set the teams on the gaming guns and boxes. Each option has a voiceover to explain it in more detail. For very basic operations a simple controller is available. This is typically used in conjunction with preset equipment that has been locked. On a master controller, commands are grouped by general categories. Categories can be scrolled through with the red and black buttons. To enter a category, pull the trigger. IR commands. This menu includes all temporary settings and commands issued via infrared transmission. The operator needs to point at the sensors on the target device and then pull the trigger on the master controller. IR commands do not make permanent changes to the target device's configuration. Radio commands. This menu includes all commands issued via digital radio to all devices on the same battle as the master controller. This menu also includes setting a mission timer. Common settings. This menu updates permanent configuration settings by infrared transmission. All changes are retained between reboots. Configurations that are likely to change frequently are included in this menu. Especially useful for doing resets and setting teams. Monitor. Search with radio for devices of the selected type. The user then selects the specific device and the system returns key information about that device. Basic scoring information and team setting are shown on list of matching devices. It's useful to have an alias assigned to each device. Control. Remotely control devices on the same battle by radio. A reset can be sent to a specific device by radio which means device roles can be changed remotely from the master controller. Phrases. Trigger pre-recorded phrases from the master controller to play on gaming guns on the same battle. Notably, you are victorious, and change ends. Testing. System testing for the sensors and radio module. Rare settings. This menu includes all permanent settings issued via infrared transmission that are infrequently changed. All changes are retained between boots. Only one setting at a time can be altered. To return to the main menu, pull the trigger on the main menu option. Spawn, if target gaming gun is in dead state, it can be respawned using this function. New mission. Target gaming gun starts a new game restoring all health and ammunition. This is useful if you have sent a game start command via digital radio to the entire group and one unit didn't start. Reload, if the targeted gaming gun has used at least one magazine of ammunition, then all their ammunition is restored. Pause, targeted gaming gun enters a paused state. Resume, when targeted, a paused gaming gun returns to normal operations. Shoot, target gaming gun has their hit points reduced. Total damage can be specified through the common menus on the master controller. Stealth shot, shoots without making a shooting noise. Kill, 
A shot that inflicts 1000 points of damage. Please note, if the target is configured to basic damage, then only one point of damage is done. Jam, causes the target gaming gun to be jammed requiring a push of the reload button to clear. Mystery, targeted gaming guns temporarily and randomly change emulation. The mystery has four options. Random, a completely random emulation is chosen from the emulation list. List is restricted by theme setting. Class, a random emulation is selected from within the current class of the current slot. Weapons, a random selection of a weapon emulation from the classes allowed by the theme setting of the target device. The selected emulation will be a weapon. Simple, a random selection of a weapon emulation from the classes allowed by the theme setting of the target device. Excluded are emulations with fire modes of pump action, bolt action, or chainsaw. Interrogate retrieves information about the target device by targeting the device by infrared. Briefing, prepares all gaming guns for a briefing. Similar to a pause command, all players are put in a paused state however their gaming guns will not make any sound on trigger pull. This ensures an easier briefing. Additionally, it performs the clear stats function and restores gamers to full health. Clear stats, clear all the player stats that have accumulated. This is very useful at the beginning of each session as an alternative to resetting all stats using the key. Note that a briefing command also performs a clear stats function. And, sends all devices into game over state. Find, sends find command to all devices regardless of battle or state or configuration. These devices will flash their hit lights, muzzle flash and make a siren sound effect until a trigger is pulled on them. Pause, sends all devices on the same battle as the master controller into pause mode. Resume, returns all paused devices to normal operations. Set timer specifies how long the next game will run for. Start, starts a new game for any devices currently in paused or game over state. Note this command has no effect on gaming guns in ready state. If a timed game is indicated in the settings, a start command will start the timer. When the timer reaches zero, all devices on the same battle will enter game over state. Start zone, start warnings for any gamers away from their battle box. This is used to warn the operator if any gamers are not starting in their base before the game has started. Normally set the radio strength to large circle. Stop safe zone, stop pre-mission safe zone. Switch box team, switch boxes from red team to blue team and blue team boxes to red. Unfind, reverses the effect of the find command. Set team, this function allows teams to be set by infrared command. Gaming guns set to a team cannot be hit by gaming guns on their own team. Generally, for civilian use and close quarters battles, Battlefield Sports recommends that friendly fire is turned off and players are assigned to a team. Reset, reset all factory default settings associated with the currently selected theme. For example, if the theme is Battle Royale, the most common reset option will be automatic pistol on any team. The display will say change automatic pistol. Pull the trigger while aiming at the sensors of the gaming gun that you want to reset. Check the head sensor flashes red to indicate the signal has been received. Set emulations, configure the preferred emulations of each slot. This function is used in conjunction with the change emulation command. Step 1, select a slot, normally slot 1. Step 2, select the emulation class such as light handguns or rockets. Step 3, select an emulation from the list of emulations. Step 4, change emulations function updates the emulation slots of the target gaming guns. This function will update target gaming guns slots based on emulations selected with the set emulations command. Point the master controller towards the gaming guns to change their emulations. Typically leave send empty slots as no. Set difficulty, updates the difficulty level of the target gaming gun. Set health, set the target gaming gun to a new maximum hit point level. Set battle. Devices interact based on their battle. A gaming gun will accept radio commands, take hits, and hit others, only if the message comes from a device on the same battle. Set volume, changes the target gaming gun's volume. Set reloads, set the number of spare magazines for a specified slot on target gaming guns. Set character is not used in the battle royale theme. Hit rate, the minimum time between hits. A quarter of a second is typical. The lower the hit rate the harder the simulation. Basic reset, is not used in the battle royale theme. 
Game adjustments allow for handicapping of one team on the fly by digital radio. Armor is not used in the Battle Royale theme. Damage adjustment percentage. 100% is no adjustment. Damage adjustment greater than 100 increases the damage done. For example, 120% damage adjustment will increase weapon damage by 20%. Difficulty level, changes the hit rate and in the case of easy mode, also provides unlimited reloads. A new weapon emulation for slot 1 can be assigned by radio to a selected team or all teams. Given a team a better weapon to start with can improve their chances of winning. Hit rate changes the minimum time between hits to the specified team. The lower the time, the more difficult. Scavenger, when the shooter makes a kill, the shooter will gain a weapon, aid, or ammunition from the target. If one team has been capturing all the supplies, this mode can help the other team gain some of those items.